lower back pain at home self-treatment with rip tools so you have pain in your lower back and you're looking for treatment the best thing to do is go see your doctor but if you're out of the country or can't leave your home self-treatment may be your best option what kind of outcomes can you expect without the diagnostic skills or experience of a doctor if you need to treat yourself that's why i made these videos to help you gain a better knowledge of your body and to help you achieve your best athletic performance in the comfort of your own home to attain your best results and prevent the regression of your condition, you should also follow a specific rehab program that will help you launch into the performance training programs you desire. Let's begin by talking about the anatomy of your condition that is important to you, and we can go from there. The lower back contains many muscles. From posterior to anterior, we have the thoracolumbar fascia of the latissimus dorsi muscle, serratus posterior inferior, longissimus thoracis, iliocostalis lumborum, multifidi, spinalis thoracis, intertransversary lateralis and medialis, interspinous and rotator longus and rotator brevis muscles. Connecting your lower back in the front, we have the external, internal, and transverse obliques, as well as the rectus abdominis, which all provide stability for the lumbar spine. Deeper to these muscles, we have the quadratus lumborum, psoas, and the diaphragm. Independently, these muscles can be your greatest assets, but if they are ignored or untrained, can be your worst nightmares. These muscles are quite special as they provide stability for the lumbar spine. The quadratus lumborum can laterally flex the spine as well as elevate your hips. The psoas is a key muscle in the body. It assists in front spinal flexion, lateral spinal flexion, hip flexion, and because this muscle attaches the lumbar vertebrae to the femur, dysfunctions of the pelvis, lumbar, and thoracic region can occur. To learn more about this muscle, check out my other video for psoas support. The diaphragm is a broad muscle that makes up the superior border of the abdominal cavity and within 24 hours can contract 30,000 times per day. This muscle impacts your respiratory, lymphatic, bowel, and vascular systems. To learn more about this muscle, check out my other video for respiration rehab. If you find scar tissue in any of these structures, it can and will restrict optimal function of your body. Introducing the rip tools. The goal of self-treatment with rip tools are to break up restrictive scar tissue and improve lymphatic drainage and swelling. The rip tool pulse and rip tool axis can essentially rip apart adhesions surrounding your muscles, tendons, ligaments, and nerves, and when used correctly, can improve your movement patterns, flexibility, and balance. To begin treating the scar tissue of your lower back, apply lotion or lubricant to your skin. Using the rip tool axis, spread the lotion around your back and glide the flat edge against your skin. Apply light pressure as you move up and down with your tool. Moving sideways with the tool can break cross links within the fascia and restore movement within taut fibers. As you work near the iliac crests, you can use the corners of your axis to pinpoint tension within your muscles. You may gradually apply additional pressure with your tools until your pain tolerance is met. Work the tool through the muscles and tendons up into the bony prominences as these attachment points have less blood supply and they can contain more microfiber adhesions than in the muscle bellies themselves. You can bend your body in different directions to stretch and relax the tissues you are treating, as relaxed skin will permit deeper treatment and taut skin will permit superficial treatment. As you use your tool, you may find these adhesions, bumps, and or grits under the skin. It is important to work on these spots with more pressure and for more time because they may be limiting your lower back's functions, including its blood supply and nerve communication. After one week of self-treatment, measure your pain, asymmetries, ranges of motion, strength, and activity levels to determine if this treatment is working. The normal treatment duration for the lower back is five to seven minutes per day for a couple of weeks. However, treatment time can vary depending on daily activity levels. If your skin becomes irritated, your activity levels begin to decline, or you feel that you are hurting yourself, terminate self-treatment and consider using an ice pack on the area to reduce inflammation. Seek medical attention as you may have other complications that may be preventing your condition from improving. You may lay face down to target the deep tissues of your lower back, as it may be more relaxing and therapeutic. It is appropriate to start your rehab program before and or after each self-treatment session. Once your condition shows improvement where your pain is no longer affecting your daily activities, you are then ready to start your performance programs. To get your own set of rip tools, learn more self-treatment techniques, self-evaluation skills, rehab stretches, and performance training programs, contact me at the information provided.